Hello everyone, I'm Stephen Clark with Thailand Unplugged, back with the latest news from Thailand and Southeast Asia. Let's have a quick look at what's coming up today. Duterte of the Philippines and Priet of Thailand are not going to the Asia Summit on Myanmar held in Indonesia. Thailand adopts the jab passports. Thailand trying to get hold of the Pfizer vaccine, a million doses of it. Thailand saying that the Chinese Sinovac COVID vaccine is safe to use. And Thailand's three-stage roadmap to open up Thailand to the rest of the world. Once again, I'm Stephen Clark. Those and other stories coming up from the Land of Smiles and Southeast Asia. The leaders of the Philippines and Thailand to skip Asian summit on Myanmar's crisis. Absence of leaders cast shadow on bloc's attempt to make progress. Manila, Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte, the Thai Prime Minister Mr. Priyat Chinacha, will skip Southeast Asian summit this Saturday on the crisis in Myanmar, reducing the number of leaders who will attend the meeting in Jakarta. The Foreign Affairs Secretary will represent Duterte, who has to deal with his country's Chinese coronavirus. According to a foreign ministry statement, the Philippines has logged record daily cases in recent weeks. Despite Duterte's absence, the Philippines said it is strongly supporting the meeting even without the full attendance of leaders of 10 nations, Association of Southeast Asian Nations. The leader of Myanmar's Jointa is set to attend the summit, and a spokesman for the Junta told on Wednesday Malaysia's Prime Minister will also attend, as well as Cambodia's Prime Minister, but, the, but some countries have yet to announce whether their top leaders will participate. As the bloc adheres to policy of non-interference in member international affairs, the odds of a tangible progress are uncertain, especially with the presence of national leaders. Duterte has yet to speak about the Myanmar crisis that erupted following a military coup on February the 1st. Since then, the country's de facto leader has been detained. Hundreds have been killed amid street protests. In March, they called for the immediate release of Suu Kyi and said Malaysia was deeply concerned about the development. On Thursday, Thailand's Prime Minister Priyat Chinacha also opted to skip the summit amid a surge in Chinese coronavirus infections in Thailand, even after phone calls with Indonesian President who called for an immediate meeting. Thailand adapts use of jab passport. The Thai government has announced it will adopt the so-called vaccine passport or jab passport, a certified or vaccination for use with COVID-19 Chinese coronavirus vaccines in Thailand as an official travel document for those already vaccinated against COVID-19 and traveling to other countries. On the cover of the approved vaccine passport format, there is Thai and English text that reads Department of Disease Control, Minister of Public Health, Thailand, Agaruda Emblem, and more text reading COVID-19 Certification of Vaccination. The name of the vaccine certified holder and his or her passport or national identification number is typed in English certifying that the certification holder has already been vaccinated against COVID-19 Chinese coronavirus. Only vaccinations using vaccine registered in Thailand or ones certified by the World Health Organization. And we all know how much we can trust the World Health Organization with things like this. Anyway, they will be issued with the vaccine passports. While the signature of the authorized disease control official is required to validate the passport. Thailand is trying to get a hold of millions of Pfizer vaccine doses. With the Chinese coronavirus getting real and Thailand's vaccine supplies still months away, 
the Prime Minister today said that help could be on its way. The Prime Minister Priya Chinacha announced today that Thailand is negotiating to acquire millions of Pfizer vaccine doses as it waits production of its own domestic supply of AstraZeneca. He said the National Vaccine Institute is talking to the British government about purchasing 5 million to 10 million doses of the premium. The final quantity will depend on the terms of the deal. He did not disclose how much would be spent to secure the supply. They would supplement the AstraZeneca to be manufactured by the royal-owned Siam Bioscience, which is now expected to release its first batch of 4 billion to 6 billion doses in June. While the two-dose vaccine developed by Pfizer has emerged as the most coveted in the vaccine hierarchy, those developed by AstraZeneca Johnson & Johnson and even Chinese Sinovac are all highly effective and near universal in protecting people against serious illness. Extremely rare incidents of blood clots that could possibly link to the Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca vaccines are still being studied. Sinovac has accounted for almost all of the 2.1 million doses Thailand has imported so far. Enough supply for roughly 1 million people or 2% of the adult age population. The majority of the people will still have to wait for June or later for the production of 61 million AstraZeneca doses for mass vaccination. Thailand says Chinese Sinovac COVID vaccine safe to use after investigations into stroke-like symptoms reported in six recipients, or victims if you like. Thailand has stood by its ongoing use of the Chinese Sinovac Biotech Chinese coronavirus following six recipients reporting stroke-like symptoms after an inquiry found no connection between the jab and the illness. A government-appointed panel of experts investigating the concerns after six medical personnel who were administered the Chinese-developed vaccine experienced drowsiness and numbness and symptoms like they felt very sick. The individuals were all given treatment for strokes and recovered with no further medical concerns reported. Having examined the case, the Thai health authorities ruled that there was no clear link between the vaccine and the side effects, deciding that the country should continue to include the Chinese-produced Sinovac in its rollout. The panel agreed we can continue to use this vaccine batch because the benefits of the vaccine outweighs the temporary effects which can occur. Thailand is not the first country to have reported of stroke-like symptoms among a small number of recipients of the Sonovac jab. There were reports in March of two Hong Kong residents who died from a stroke, although vaccine experts in the area said there was no casual link between the injection and the strokes. And those two victims would have been from Hong Kong and the experts would have been from China, I would imagine. A similar incident was reported in the Philippines with the Department of Health examining the vaccine's safety after a man who had been administered it later suffered a stroke. The department ultimately ruled that the timing was purely coincidental and the vaccine was safe and effective to use. Thailand has received 2 million doses of Sinovac, with 1.5 million set to be delivered in the near future. So far, 600,000 doses of the Chinese vaccine have been given to residents across the country. All I can say is stick with the people that created the virus and then denied it and are now saying their vaccine's wonderful. Nothing like creating a virus and then selling the cure. <laughs>